Getting started with Hibernate might seem rather complicated, but it really isn't, and I'll show you how to get running in just a couple of minutes. So let's open up a command line window and change to the directory where you keep all your projects and create a new folder in there for our new Greenfield Hibernate project and also change into our new directory. Now, I'm assuming you have Gradle installed and directions are a bit different for Maven or if you don't have Gradle installed, but for these scenarios, I have other screencasts. Now, in our directory, we simply run the command Gradle init and it has a type option where we can simply put java-library, run the command and Gradle creates a new Java project for us. So we can open up our IDE, IntelliJ, and uh, open up the project by hitting the build.gradle file directly. And in the import dialog that's coming up, make sure that you tick this box, which means that whenever you make changes to the build Gradle file, your project gets refreshed immediately. What does that mean? Um, for example, we add, we're going to add Hibernate to our build Gradle file in a second, and we want it to start downloading it immediately without you having to trigger it manually. That's what the box does. Now, let's hit OK, import our project. And we see that we have a bare bones Gradle project set up with our source, Java folders, etc. And now we want to add Hibernate to our project. And for that, let's quickly go to the website mavenrepository.com, maven which comes in quite handy, which you'll see in a second. And uh, on that website, we look for a dependency called Hibernate Core. And the Hibernate Core dependency is the only dependency you need to get up and running with Hibernate. So we click the dependency, also its latest version. And just a quick note, uh, if you don't have any good reasons to use an older version, just go with the, with the latest one, which is 5 at the moment. I think Hibernate 4 is still supported. Hibernate 3, while being out there in the wild and being used in, in companies, is now unsupported. But we're going to go with the, with the 5 version. Now we hit the Gradle tab and just copy and paste uh, the code there and put it into our build Gradle file. And once we put it in, you can see that idea is working. It downloads Hibernate and all its dependencies. And once it's finished downloading all the dependencies, you'll be able to see everything under the external libraries tree. And as you can see, Hibernate Core brings in everything else it needs, like comments annotations or the JPA API. Um, but for now, that's all you need. Congratulations you now know how to create and set up a new Hibernate project.